Happy New Year, my friend, and welcome to our very first video in the devotional series as we read through the Bible in one year together. I'm so glad that you've joined me and super excited about the readings that we're doing today. We're kicking it off with Genesis chapter 1. We've also got Matthew chapter 1 and a few other little passages of scripture as well that I hope you enjoy. You know, a lot of the time when we begin in Genesis chapter 1, people often talk about new beginnings and new starts. And it is great that we all have a fresh start in this year, at the beginning of this year. And we're all um, approaching the year with fresh eyes and fresh dreams for what God might hold in our future this year. One of my friends wrote a book book, Dr. Winfield Bevins, he wrote a book called Ever Ancient, Ever New. And when I came to this passage of scripture, as I read it this morning, I, I felt God speak to me about being ever ancient and ever new. You know, even though this is the beginning of a new year, a beginning of a new season in my life, maybe it's the beginning of a new season in your life. Uh, maybe there's new things on the horizon for you. Even though it's the beginning of the book of the Bible, we have a God who who is not only ever new and ever present and ever speaking into that situation and circumstance and breathing life and bringing new things into order, but we also have a God who stands outside of time who is ever ancient. There is nothing that he hasn't seen. There is nothing that he has not walked through. There is nothing that he has not planned in advance. And so as we step into the new, God is already there in our future waiting as as his yesterday. So God is already there. God has already seen it. God has been there. He has done that. He has got the t-shirt. And I don't know about you, but that gives me hope for the future. That helps me to know that God holds my future in his hand. There is no time, season or circumstance that I can walk through that his word has not already, already spoken to. And so I'm doing this new season with God hand in hand. He is ever ancient and he is ever new. Also in this Matthew chapter one, we see this massive genealogy that we're reading through. You know, sometimes genealogies can be a bit boring. We're reading this name after that name, this name after that name. And sort of like the credits on a movie, you know, as the credits are going up, it can be boring just reading through the credits, but every name had a part to play. Every name was a story of someone who made a difference in that movie. And in the same way, this genealogy, every name shares a story of someone who has partnered with God to see his plan and purpose come to pass in their lives. And it's the story of Jesus Christ, the story of the birth of Jesus Christ, the coming of the Messiah, the Old Testament, it stops with Jesus. The, the Old Testament train parks in the station when Jesus arrives. And so he is the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. He is the fulfillment of everything that these individual stories were talking about. Jesus is the one that every one of those people had been waiting for. And we see him arriving on the scene in Matthew chapter one. It's telling us about the gen genealogy, the story of the coming Messiah, the story of Jesus, knowing that he is the one who is in all things and fulfills fills all things, turns all things around for the good of those who love God, who have been called according to his purpose. So I don't know what it is that you're walking through today. I don't know if it's been a tough season for you as you're beginning this next year and you're starting full of hope, but maybe a little bit full of apprehension or disappointment or discouragement based on the things that you've walked through to get to this point, I believe that you can start the year, you can start this Bible reading plan wide-eyed, full of hope for the future of what God has for your future because he is the one who fills all things. He is the fulfillment of every promise that God has for us. He is the one who has come, the Messiah Jesus. He is the one who has come to turn all things for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So God bless you today as you go into your day. I would love to pray for you as we go into our days today. God, I pray that you would just bless my friend as they do their Bible readings 
today as they get into these passages passages of scripture. God, I pray that you would speak to them. God, I pray that you would give them revelation. You would give them wisdom and insight from your word. God, I pray that it wouldn't just be an exercise in reading and gaining information and gaining knowledge. But God, I pray that this would be a time where they would truly encounter you, meet with you, see transformation and revelation come into their hearts and lives today. Holy Spirit, speak and minister to us in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody said amen. Amen. So good to have you with me. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I'll see you tomorrow for day two.